Hi besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. So today, a lot of you guys have been telling me to do a comparison of the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrubs as well as the Dove Exfoliating Potty Polishes. And you guys, there's like this really big thing in the hygiene community, which one is better, this one's better, this one's better because of yada yada yada. So I'm going to be doing a breakdown for you guys, just kind of comparing the two and also we're going to do a demo as well with me in the bathtub. Yes, we're going to be exfoliating the legs because she has not exfoliated it now in a tiny bit because of laziness, maybe because of my lack of time management. Maybe. So let's compare it with the price tag. So the Dove polishes normally are around underneath $6. Now, sometimes I've been to CVS and Walgreens and they're like seven to $8, just depending on where you get them. If your locations have cheaper grocery items and it just depends on like your location, okay? So these retail for from five to $8, okay? And then we have the Tree Hut scrubs right here. <laughs> The cheapest that I have ever found these scrubs were at Marshalls and they had these for $3.99 and they were like the super discontinued exclusive scents. So always check your TJ Maxx, your Burlington stores, Ross, and any of those type of establishments and see if they have Tree Hut scrubs because sometimes they just pop out of nowhere and you can be like, whoa, I need to stock up. <laughs> but other than that, the price at Walmart is $6.48, but also they sell these for $8.99 at Ulta. So these are a little bit more expensive versus the Dove polishes, but nonetheless, I think that they are very, very comparable to the price. The Tree Hut scrubs have 18 ounces in them, and the Dove body polishes have 10.5 ounces. So rather than per se, I'm not sure, I can't really do the math right now because I'm terrible at math, but you are getting a little bit less product in the Dove, but they are tiny a bit less expensive but if you're paying for the tree hut scrubs at 648 you're still getting more product so there's the math right there okay so now continuing on about like the product in of itself now dove has been infamously known even since like before tree hut products have actually gone very famous on tiktok which is why they're getting all the hype right now Dove body polishes have been here for, for a long time now. I remember having this in high school. This one specifically is the pomegranate seeds and shea butter. Now let me show you guys the consistency of the Dove body polishes. Where is this video going? Not too sure, but we're just here for the ride. So this one is actually an older one. This is actually my sister's. We share products, it's okay. And she bought this around a year and a half ago. So I'm going to show you guys the consistency. Now I will say, the longer you keep it in your shower, the more liquidy it will get. So it almost looks like a thick milkshake consistency. Does that even sound right? <laughs> so this one is like on the verge to spill if I actually like do that. So there's that one right there. And I'm going to give you guys just a quick comparison when, it, when you first buy one. It just depends on the manufacturer as well. So this one is the newest one that I recently bought. And as you guys can see, she is like a whipped dream. She looks like whipped cream, ready to put on top of a cake or a pie. She is not going to budge, okay? She's fresh, she's fine, she's doing good. Next, we have the Tree Hut Scrubs. Let's look at the consistency there. Tree Hut Scrubs are known for their thicker, sugary crystals rather than like the gentle looking little beads in the Dove body polishes. So let me just show you guys right here. Now, this one is actually new. I haven't used this yet, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like when it's nice and new. So you see that? This one's not going to budge. She's not going to budge at all. If I try really hard to press it down, of course it will, but it looks like a slushy to me, doesn't it not? So I was going into my collection and seeing if it's like the same consistency with many of the other older ones that I started collecting. So this one is the Brazilian Nut Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. And I actually got this one at Marshall's, okay? So this one was $4.99. Oops, sorry. Yeah, you can get the Tree Hut Scrubs for $4.99 <laughs> instead. This one is a little bit older. As you guys can see, it is a little bit more liquidy. You can see that. Okay. It gives me the same vibes as how the Dove body polishes are, whereas the more you use them, just because I feel like if you keep them longer in your shower, then of course they're going to have like some splashes of water in there because you're showering. So it's not going to always stay the same consistency the longer you own it. So here's the banana split tree hut scrub. And what I remember when I got this one, this one was always liquidy. So 
it honestly really depends on the one that you get but i've actually been very lucky and i haven't really had many of the tree hut scrubs with this kind of consistency so i'm showing you guys the other dove body polishes that i own so as you guys can see the consistency really strong really nice i've only used this one time so it wasn't really in the shower as long as uh it was but as you guys can see it's a pretty good thick she's still thick so it also just depends if you're like very clumsy in the shower and like sometimes like you know some water will get in there and it'll kind of dilute the product and make it a little bit more slushy than it already is but now we are going to be comparing the quality now because i just want to have like a side by side for you guys okay so here is the dove body polish when it was like super used this is like halfway gone and I'm just going to do the flick of the wrist right here. So this is the old one where it's a little bit more liquidy. So as you guys can see, it's like drooping. And this is the new one. This is nice, nice, fresh. It's very whipped. It looks like an icing on top. So as you guys can see, it's like drooping down a little bit. So here is the new one. And then here is the old one. As you guys can see, it's, it's not as like thick as the other one. So you probably have to use a little bit more. But other than that, they're pretty much the same thing, you guys because they are the same product, of course. I will say the consistency is very nice. It's very gentle. There's like very, very tiny micro beads. It's very nice. So honestly, you guys, if you are having just a very relaxing, chill day, but you also wanna take a shower and not wanna go too hard, this is a very nice product to try out, especially if you're not just sweating around town. This is a nice one to have, just something to freshen you up, especially when you are just having like a very nice, calm day inside. Now I'm going to show you guys the consistency of the Tree Hut scrub. So you guys already see it's very nice, very thick. Look at this right here. Oh yeah, she is going to stay on. Now I'm filming. As you guys can see, the consistency is very thick. Look at that. Whoa. It smells really strong too. This one is the watermelon one. It smells like a like a Jolly Rancher. It smells very nice. It honestly smells like one of my wax melts. So thick. It's very abrasive though. I will say if you have sensitive skin, you are probably going to not like this one just because of harsh texture. If you have sensitive skin, you're probably not going to like this just because of how thick and coarse it is. Like, oh my goodness, it's like not gonna come off. Like she's, she's just there. So I'm going to put the Dove exfoliating polish on my other hand. Look at this, you guys. As you guys can see right there, it's a very whippy formula. It's not too, like, I feel like I'll, I'll drop it off right now. <laughs> It'll fall off. So I also want to compare my new bottle that I had rather than the older one just to have it a fair shot. So right here, you do a swash. You guys can see the texture is very thinner, I would say. Like you can definitely bring it all the way down here and really just massage it nicely. If you look a little closer, there are just tiny molecule granules right there. It's not sugar, I believe. So I honestly haven't tasted it. So I don't really know if it is sugar, but it is a lot gentle. And even though I'm putting way too much product on my hand, it just has like this very nice soft feeling. Like when I'm using the tree hut scrub on my hands right here, it does have like this very abrasive feeling, but with the Dove one, it's just creamy. It's nice, it's light. Like I can just like keep going on it and on. With the tree hut scrubs, you can continue to keep doing it and then it'll start dissolving into your skin, which is what I love about the tree hut scrubs because they're sugar, they will dissolve into your skin and then start soaking into your skin, which is, the coolest thing because with these Dove Bali polishes, they're great, they're nice and gentle and smooth, but they're not going to seep into your skin and make your skin as luxurious as like a sugar scrub. This is just what I've learned in my experience of massaging people's legs at a nail salon during your pedicures. The more you use a sugar scrub, it's going to keep just immersing and blending into your skin. So you're going to feel like it's actually doing something. So yeah, <laughs> I need to wash my hands, you guys. This is a messy. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So now that I've shown it on my arms, they're nice and clean now. Very, very soft, actually. I'm going to go into the bathroom right now. You can come with me. And we're going to be doing it on my legs because why not? And I'm going to show you guys the ways that the instruction says to do it. So we're going to follow their steps and see which is better just for my legs. Um, let's go in and... Get in there. Come on, let's go. Okay, so now we're in my bathtub. Hey, actually the lighting's pretty nice here. I don't know why I don't film more in here. I should do like those type of videos where people like take baths and then spill tea because that would be so fun to do. Let me know if you guys want to do that. Anyway, like a wind down. Okay, so so what I'm going to do now, 
<laughs> fully clothed site guys prep my legs right now so all I do is I just get some water and just put it on there okay we're gonna do a simple routine just gonna do the bottom half of my legs because you girl got a lot of leg okay she be working out she be looking fine yeah Okay, so now I have some damp skin. It's feeling fine. So what I normally like to do is I like to let my skin soften through like the warm water during my shower, but since this is just a demo, we're just, we're just having a little bit of a damp skin. So here is the Dove Body Polish, and I'm gonna just open that up. This one is the thicker one. This is the newest one that I got, so you can see she's pretty thick, she's pretty, she's, she's in there, okay? So this is how much I will use. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just take the product and then the instruction says to do it in a circular motion. So I'm just going to copy them. And as you guys can see, it's very light, it's very soft. It almost looks like a whipped body butter per se. As you guys can see, those as it gets wet, it's starting to loosen up. So I'm just gonna keep doing that and just go into circular motions. The instructions also say that you can use this three to four times per week, but that's just gonna depend on yourself as well. Looking nice, you guys, looking nice. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I feel like it's nice and submerged into my skin. As you guys can see, like you can't really tell that it's soaking into the skin, it's just getting the top layer right there. Yes, boo, work it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more right here. All right guys, so I've been massaging this into my skin for about a minute. The coolest thing about the Dove Body Polishes is that you know where like you've missed little spots. So as you guys can see right here, I missed this area. So if I just keep massaging it in circular motions right there, I've hit that spot. So, so as I'm noticing, as I have been massaging it for quite a while, I can kind of tell the granules are kind of turning soft, but they're not going away at all. Like they're just still there, they're still doing its thing. And I feel like it's starting to become like a shaving cream per se, but there are still little spots right here. So they're definitely not going to completely dissolve. Okay, let's do the other leg with the Tree Hut scrubs. So now I have the Tree Hut scrub right here. She's ready to go. And one of the cool tips I will say that since I'm not going to be doing it, but I want you guys to know this is how I normally do it. With the tree hut scrubs, I love using the exfoliating bath gloves just because sometimes it gets kind of finicky to dig like your nail in there. So sometimes I'll just get, I'll just put on a exfoliating body glove and just use this. And then you guys, there's a difference. Let me show you guys in a little bit and I'll talk further more. But when you have long nails like me, like you see there, there's some nail right there. Um, I like to do a t on top rather than digging it in. So we got some right there. Ooh, like the ones on um, TikTok. So getting a nice healthy amount. We're just going to spread it like that. So you guys can see it's translucent. It's not like a creamy consistency as the Dove body polishes are. You guys can see this little black specks right there from the formula. So I'm just going to massage this in for a whole minute. It does get a little bit messy though, so definitely don't do this like right at the end of your bathtub, but before this demo, we're just gonna do it all in here. So the instructions also say to use circular motions, so do so with that information as you please. I will say it's up to you and how you scrub yourself to make the product work for you. So if you have sensitive skin, but you also wanna try a Dove body polish, definitely try to make sure that you're just doing this gently. So you guys see that? But if you want like a nice, like strong, you do that really, really rough, you can use just, it's just the power of your hand on how you want to do that. As you guys can see, my skin's getting a tiny bit red because I'm doing too harsh. And I think sometimes I do have sensitive skin, not gonna lie, so please be gentle to your skin. The longer you exfoliate, the longer the sugar will start to emulsify and get into your skin. If you use a exfoliating body glove, which I talked about earlier, um, when you use the product, it actually starts to do that process quicker so you'll start to feel more of like the oily rather than like these harsh sugar molecules onto your skin. So, okay so comparing the two right here this has been sitting for a little bit. I'm gonna rinse this off and show you guys the aftermath. Okay you guys all nice still a little damp. Now I'm feeling oh 
Okay, sometimes the tree hood scrubs can be a little bit messy. Now, as I'm feeling my legs on both sides, I will say the Dove Body Polish, not gonna lie, it feels softer for some reason. Maybe it's the formula and the tree hut scrub. While it's still nice and soft, I feel like they both did a good job. The Dove one, the formula is kind of better, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie you guys it, may, it makes my this side of my legs feel so much softer than this side of my leg Even though they both did the same thing like this one is just as soft this one feels so much more luxurious Whoa What? This one was the dove this one was the tree hut. Maybe you guys can see like a texture difference I didn't shave my legs yet, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Wow, this one's really really nice Why have I not been using double locks? So after that, I'll usually just use some body oil just because I did strip a little bit of my skin. We'll do a little shiny to test. Shiny, shiny, shiny for you. My legs feel so nice. Okay guys, we're actually gonna do an authentic test right now. The Dove one is right here, okay? And the Tree Hut is to the side. I'm gonna let my friends uh, feel my legs and tell you guys the real tea of which leg it feels softer to them. So let's go ask, let's go ask. Hey, can you feel which leg is softer? Like leg leg? Oh, that. Oily. <laughs> okay, I did put a little bit of body oil. It is soft. Okay, now feel this one. Oh, the other one's way softer. I think so too, right? Yeah. I mean, like, it's really oily, but it's like, it makes your body like, like seem, like when I grab you to touch, I, my fingers sink in. Yeah. But then the other one is just like, it's pretty nice. It's like a normal, uh -huh. but then it's just like, it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same. I also did put body oil on, so this is going to be a little bit suede. So my apologies, okay? My apologies. Okay, besties, we're gonna touch some legs. Why? Because I need to, I need to see which leg, leg is softer. Feel that. Okay. Okay, feel that. Which one's softer? The other one. The other one, and this one? Yeah, that one's softer. Dun, dun, dun. Here, you guys can touch my leg. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Here, touch this leg, just this area. Okay. Okay. Which one's softer? You feel the same. The other one. <laughs> they feel the same? You and this one? The other one feels Okay. Same. Thanks. Okay, so now the real question is, what does my boyfriend think? Do we really care about his opinion? Nah. Let's just go and see what he thinks. We're gonna need some opinions. Feel this leg. I put some body oil on, okay? Yeah, it's oily. Okay. Feel that one? Which one's softer? I use different body polishes. Let me do the other one. This side's softer. But I don't like the oily feeling afterwards. You heard it here, folks. I think the Dove body polish won. Hmm. Okay, let's go back into the bathroom and talk. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I was being very biased to the Tree Hut scrubs just because I preferred them more. But now that I'm doing like a comparison, I really think the Dove body polishes make my skin a little bit more softer and feel... It has to be something in this bad boy. It has to be because I was just like, yeah, the Dove body polishes are great, but like I prefer Tree Hut, but these are actually really good. Like I can actually feel a difference when using them side by side, okay? They don't, but they both do a great job at exfoliating no matter if you love like a coarse texture with the Tree Hut scrubs or like a nice gentle, like every other day type of feeling just to freshen up your body, you guys. I think Dove is a little bit better. <gasps> I'm shocked, okay, because I am a Tree Hut girl. I love Tree Hut, but this? Oh my gosh, please, if you have both of these, try them out. Do the same test as I just did. Do a comparison because let me tell you, the leg that I used the Dove product on, it, sm it feels so much better. Yeah, like I feel like there's just something in here that just makes it go like, Ba-boom. Like this feels like something I used at a spa while this one is just more of like a DIY. Not gonna lie, I love Tree Hut. Not gonna lie, you guys. Tree Hut is bae, but these, yeah, I'm shocked. 
They're both very nice. The smell for these as well, impeccable. This one's strong. The scent is also strong. You're going to have a nice shower experience in regards to if you use either or. If you work out all the time, you're sweating, you're outside doing manual labor, you're going to love the tree hut scrubs. But if you are a person who has very highly sensitive skin and you feel like you're going to be missing out because you can't use the tree hut scrubs because they're so abrasive, this is just as good, you guys. I feel like they're just different types of things. Like if you're outside all day, you're going to have to use this. If you are just relaxing, you're going to use this. Because honestly, I feel like you could use the Dove Exfoliating Body Polishes every day, depending on your skin though. But personally for me, I could use this every day and be okay with it because it's not too aggressive my, on my skin. And you guys saw during when I was using the Tree Hut scrubs, I was trying to do gentle pressure with my hand motions and it still made my skin turn a little bit red if you didn't notice. The Battle of the Drugstore Exfoliating Body Scrubs, I'm gonna say Dove is better, I know. I was actually watching some reviews too and people were saying, I love this one more than this one. I was like, oh! And I was like, I gotta try this out for myself. And not gonna lie, this one is a little bit higher up. I do wish that Dove had more scents. They also have like an oatmeal one and a brown sugar one, but I can never find it. They're just so hard to find with the Dove one. So Dove, if you're out there, you're listening, you definitely need to make more scents. You're going to be making so much money. If you make so many more scents, people will start collecting them just as much as the Tree Hut ones because people are collecting so many of the scents because the, here's the thing. The great thing about Tree Hut is that they always come out with different scents. And so people are like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna start a collection with Tree Hut scrubs, which is what I have, but Guys, I think I'm gonna have to start collecting Dove body polishes because these are so good. And I will also say that the texture is different between a, each type of Dove exfoliating body polishes and it will say on the bottles as well. This is the older packaging, so it doesn't actually say it, but in the newer packaging, it'll have like a light, medium, rough type of situation. And I'll show you guys how abrasive their scrub is depending on the product. So I feel like that's kind of like a little bit of a pro and con because let's say that you love this formula, but you can't use the other one because it's too harsh on your skin. So let me know if you guys have like the brown sugar or the colloidal oatmeal that they have and see if they're like similar, even though they might be a little bit of a harsher texture. I would love to know down below. We found the answer to which one is better. Here's the thing about recognizing your bias. Even though you might think this product is way above something else and that you've never really tried it side by side, try it side by side. Don't knock it till you try it, you guys, because even though this one is a tiny bit cheaper, it looks like it won't do anything at all. Look at this. Like, she looks innocent. She looks like she's just gonna look like an edible cupcake and this right here this bad boy is going to do like a lot of work a lot of mm -hmm. yeah looks like a slushy smells really good i have a little bit on my lip but that was basically it for this review for this comparison which is better what takes the cake these are just my thoughts and opinions so please let me know down below what you guys prefer because legit the dove one oh she gonna have she's soft Yep, I'm gonna be just touching my legs for the rest of the night because it feels so good. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video. It was really fun to make. Let me know down below if you guys want me to compare any other products or what other video ideas you guys want me to see because I'm running out of ideas. But yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching once again and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.